many years of your life is all the guy in bossy or no, all the women? Just, it's not just guys or girls. I have so many bosses, both males and females, that are... Okay, you see, uh, the, the way the corporate world is structured is already not very leadership-based already. Yeah, of course. People are elevated according to their results, personal results, mm. which means how well they get a job done. Mm. Correct. But for example, somebody who is good at doing sales may not be good at leading a team. Yep. You know what I mean? But the person that gets promoted is the one who brings in the most sales, for example. Yeah. Okay. So 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 it's like the person is good at his or her job, which is great. But yep. it doesn't mean that the person is good at leading or managing people or like you say, finding their hidden talents and then grooming them. Yep. And also I have met so many um, to be honest, in my entire career in my entire office career right i have only had i think two managers whom i would say uh were good mentors and they and they lead me well mm. uh one is a male one is a female mm. okay and so you know there's a saying that female bosses are not as good as male bosses because we have moods and all that which is not true because i have two good mentors and one male one female mm. okay? and i have had shitty bosses who are bossy and they are males and females. Mm. Okay? There's this horrible boss that I've had. He's very nice, but his essence is like a shark. Mm. That time was when I was working there, that time I, it was before money and you. So mm. I didn't know about essence and shark. Mm. I just realized that I always felt very uncomfortable around him. Mm. Like he's like smiling, but like anytime he's gonna gobble you up. You know? Yeah. And then and then I realized that. Uh, and then we okay, what I talk about this recently I met one of my ex-colleagues who used to work there. Mm. The company that I work at, right, um, was an event management company. I will not say the name, but event management companies are usually very busy, usually on weekends, because that's when we have a lot of our events, right? Mm. And we are expected to work extra hard. Because for some people arrive at nine, we have to be ready by eight or mm. seven, mm. right? Something like that. And then people go where you have to stay on. It's like a lot of things. So we work very hard and sometimes try to rush through a project, right? It's very common for us to work until 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, minutes at that time. Mm. Then go home already, right? You shower. Then you see emails will still come in at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., that kind of thing. Wow. Yeah, and that is the culture. And that time I was too young to know that this was a very toxic culture. Mm. And okay, so this is something that also, so anyway, I said I met my ex colleague, right? And we were talking about. That, that time when I was there, there were two other people that I was closer to. We came in at the same time. Mm. Okay, the two girls, which is me, another girl, and one other guy. Mm. Okay, and the three of us were quite close. And then after that, I think the bosses of the head boss, because there are three bosses, one has the most shares, so of course you talk the loudest, right? The Money one that has the, the most share is the one that is, smells like a shark. Oh. Okay, so, so the three of us were quite close, and then we start to and, and it's good, why? I don't know why they don't like it, but we make, we make, we enjoy going to work. We work harder, you know what I mean? Yeah. But no, he decided to break the tree of one time into yeah. different project teams so that we don't get together. And then, and then that's when I realized that if you find that you are, you know, divide and conquer, right? The money and you learn. Yeah. If you find that you are having to divide just to conquer your team, mm. it means that you belong to the bosses. Right? Yeah, correct. Okay, so so that's what I found out. That's, that's a telling sign for the bosses. And other bosses are... Okay, this is something that I really... Uh, another sign of bossiness versus true leadership. I think a true leader, like you say, you will always throw yourself into the fire first. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's not by choice. La. I mean, you have to fail first, right? Yeah. Bosses or bossy people, they push the employees to go to the fire first. Yep. <laughs> I, I saw it's that like, also. Yeah, it's like it's like for example, the boss like, okay, no, 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 you go first. Then I push you go inside the fire yeah. first. See whether you burn or not. Huh? You burn a okay, then I don't want to go, you know? Yeah. And I've had bosses like that. And they're not they're not bad people. Mm. It's just that they were so afraid of making a mistake in the company because they have a certain standing now, right? They have been with the company for 20 years. So they have a certain, they are, they are directors. And, and I was working under, I happened to work under two directors in the same company because I shifted teams. Now. And they are both nice people, very nice people. But as they are not leaders, I would say, because mm. they are so scared. Of losing their seat. 
they are so scared of losing their seat. They are so scared that sometimes the things that we say, they don't dare to say. Mm. And they, sometimes the, the, the instructions come down to the top and it goes like, it goes like, they know that this is not good for the team. This is not good for their team, but they don't dare to speak up. Yeah. They don't dare to say, no, I am not going to do this for my team. I remember I told you I had two mentors, right? Yeah. This, uh, there was this female boss that I've had. Uh, we are still in touch. Uh, she's mm. called Linda. And she she was the, one of the first few that showed me what true leadership is like. Mm. There are many times when the management asks her to do certain things. And she will tell the management straight up, no, I'm not going to ask my team to do that because that's just out of the question. It's not part of the job scope. It's not going to help the company anyway. It's just to make you feel better. So I'm not going to do that. So she got into a lot of fights with the not fights like just disagreements with the with the management um but i feel that this is what a true leader is uh, yeah that you when you some when the shit comes down right you have to you have to pro- block it you have to take care for your team okay mm. and then sometimes right i, I used to have this joke with my ex-colleague la. we were because we both wanted the same boss then uh then uh then the colleague would say i our boss so poor thing the work so late. i say it's not poor thing I say she's paid way more than us. It is her job to tank the shit. That's why it is she's paid so much. You get what I'm trying to yes. say? Yes. If I'm paid as much as her, I will be expected to do more. Yeah. It's very simple. Very right simple, simple, yeah. It's that like everybody want a pay as a leader 10, 000, level. But you, do 10, but you don't want to take a pressure of the person yeah. that get high pay. That's it, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, so I say no need to pity. They, they are taking home so much more than us. And then instead of and instead of tanking the shit, she the bosses just let the shit just come down like that. Yeah. They, they will try a bit to say, no, I uh, cannot, but they don't dare to really outright tell the bosses, I'm not going to do it, you know, because like, you know, it makes life difficult for them. Like. Yeah. So, so this is, you know, like, there are many others, like, but anyway, I want to talk about uh, good leadership skills. Like. Then the other one, I remember the guy, this leadership, like, he was very kind and very patient. Mm. But he was very firm. It's like a good parent. Sound like me. <laughs> it's like a no, you fierce. Oh really? They 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 are both very firm, the male and the female, but yeah, okay, the, the male is the the, the male male. It's called David. I still remember his name. He's a he's a mixed. He has Western blood inside him. Very fair with blonde hair. He's blonde hair, I don't know. Then the other lady is Linda. So they both what I what I really liked was that they both were very kind, mm. they were very patient, and they were willing to help the team out as individuals. But at the same time, they were very firm. Mm. Like they, they will tell you that, hey, you still need to get a job done. I'm not going to just, just be nice when you get sick. Yeah. So I think that was something that they had a very good balance of. Mm. They mm. Both made, I would say they are both made mm. So that, that was when I had my first case of all these one leaders. Oh, 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 oh,